Can I come in? Come in. Okay, hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. My name is Tina from Respiratory. I am here because the doctor had put in a home oxygen evaluation on you. Can you tell me what that is? Do you know what that is? I know. Okay, well, before we get started, can you verify your name and your date of birth for me, please? Okay, good. Well, home oxygen evaluation is when, of course, we just diagnosed you for COPD, and sometimes you may need oxygen or you may not need any oxygen, depending on if you're at rest or what kind of activity that you may have during the day, okay? okay. All right, so now that I have you still sitting on the side of the bed, I'm just going to check your oxygen and everything and see where you're at at rest, okay? Okay, sounds good. Good for you. Okay. All right. Can okay, you go ahead and put your finger in there? So while we're doing that, I'm just going to take some lists to your lungs and everything. Can you take a nice deep breath? Again. 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 And one more time. Okay. How do you feel? Okay. Feel okay? A little a little short of breath, but nothing too bad. Okay. Well right now you're between 92 and 93% at rest, but that might change. May not change when you come in and walk yet. So go ahead and write that down. So she can have a visual. So in the meantime, what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you to look over this pamphlet It give you some information about your disease. Okay. And if you have any questions or concerns, the next RT will come in and talk to you about it. Sometimes you might have questions and you might forget. So just go ahead and write them down okay. so you remember, so you can get a little bit more understanding, okay? okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can do for you? I think I'm good for now. Okay, thank you. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Take you on a walk. Okay. We're gonna see if you need oxygen while you walk. Okay. Do you do any of the lot of walking at home? Um, I, I walk my dog here and there, but that's besides maybe the grocery store. That's about it. Okay. All right. Do you have any stairs at home? I do not. Okay. All right. None at all. Then going in. Mm -hmm. Out. Okay. All right. How are you feeling right now? Good. Uh, a little short of breath after. The breaths, but I'm I'm okay. Okay, on a level of like one to ten. Sorry. Um, probably if ten being very out of breath, I'm about a two. Thank you. Okay, so you're about a two. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on your nose and hook it up in okay. case you need it while we're going on a walk. Okay. Now, it is going to be a lengthy walk, so at any time that you are feeling extremely short of breath or if you get tired, you let me know and we will stop. Okay. Okay. All right. And that is on your feet. Good, because I will keep that. And before we get started, put this lovely tape belt on you just in case. Safety first. Okay, what's, 
Do you remember between one and ten? Maybe a three, you know. Okay. And then you're going to start to drop down. So we're going to stop here for just a second. All right, take a couple deep breaths in there for me. Are you feeling better? I am feeling better. All right, we'll continue walking. All right, you stop, slow down. Sit down. That was not bad for a walk. I, you say you have a little short of breath. What's your number? Here, back up. At the, until you okay. at the end, maybe about a four or five. Four or five? All right. Take a couple deep breaths for me. All right. It looks like what you're going to need to do is be um, two liters while you're home and walking your dog, going to the store, okay. um, or anything else. And then we'll have Lana come in. And she'll go over how to we'll get to home. I'll she just set up for you and all the rules and whatnot. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? I'm good. Okay, do you need me to do anything for you? I'm good, thank you. All uh, right. Well, thank you very much. I'll take this off of you. Is you are you okay right now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Take that with me. Take your nose with it too. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did you look over your um, pamphlets that we gave you? A little bit, yeah. About COPD and some of the facts and myths. Do you have any questions? So I saw in here it says smoking is the number one cause, and uh, I do actually smoke. Could that probably be why yes. COPD was caused? Yes, for sure. That could be um, a cause. And it's also genetic. What do you do for a living? I am a mechanic. So that's also probably a part of it oh, because really? there's you know asbestos and particles on um, auto parts that you handle all the time. I'm right, sure yeah. very dusty. Yeah. Okay. So um, let me write a number down for the oxygen um, company, and what we'll do is we will call them and you set up for oxygen delivery at your home. Somebody will come in and, and set it all up for you, talk to you about um, usage, show you how to put the hoses on and clean them and store it. It's really important um, that you do not smoke you know, where the oxygen is stored or while you have oxygen on. So you're just using the oxygen during activities. Okay. So um, it's really good that you have smoke detectors in your house. I do. Okay. And then you should also not store like any kind of chemicals, cleaning supplies, or anything like that near or around um, the oxygen. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Okay. All right. Here is another really important thing to do is a sign. You know, it should go on your door, and you can have these. You can take these home with you, okay. so that people are aware that there's oxygen in use, and not to smoke or have flammable materials around the oxygen. All right, I appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you. All right.